this video, we will be going through the installation and basic operation for the SecureArm Direct Drive. The SecureArm Direct Drive is an electronic safe lock that offers the reliability of a mechanical lock and the ease of an electronic lock. SecureArm's Direct Drive is available in two versions, the SafeLogic Basic and the SafeLogic C10. The Basic has two codes, where the C10 comes with other features, including 10 codes, time delay, dual mode, and auto trail, which can be extracted via USB. Both models come with a devil that is drilled and tapped to allow bolt extensions. Before we proceed with the installation, unlock and open your safe door. Turn the handle to extend the bolts. This will prevent the safe door from closing during installation. And finally, remove the old lock and entry pad. First, we will start by measuring the spindle to fit your safe. Remove the entry pad from the base. Then, feed the cable through the spindle hole. And press it into place. Feed the cable and spindle through the hole of your safe door. On the interior side of the door, using a marker, mark the spindle where it reaches inside of the lock mounting plate. Once that is done, remove the base along with the cable and spindle. Remove the spindle from the base. From the mark on the spindle, measure 13 millimeters and mark again. This is where we will cut the spindle. After the spindle is cut, be sure to file down any sharp edges. Feed the cable through the spindle once more and attach it to the base. With the base plate facing up, feed the cable and the spindle to the hole of the safe door. Using the included M4 screws, mount the entry pad base to the safe door. Next, we'll grab the lock. Carefully feed the cable through the back side of the lock. Gently pull the cable to ensure there is no excess in the hole. Press firmly against the mounting plate of the safe door. Using the included M6 or quarter 20 screws, fasten the lock to the safe door. Next, we will install the plastic protective holders to fix the cable in the round groove. Install the plastic protective holders so that the groove aligns with the groove in the lock body. Then, press the cable into the groove Finally, attach the 4-pin cable to the connector on the top of the lock. Install a new 9-volt battery on the back of the entry pad and secure it to the base. If your safe has a relocker pin, remove these two screws so you can remount the 
plate for the end. Now with the installation complete, test the lock a few times before shutting the safe door. Now on to the basic operation for direct drive. There are two default codes. The manager code is set to 111111 and the user code is set to 123456. To change your code, enter six zeros, enter the existing code, then enter a new code. Repeat the new code and it should be set. Go ahead and test the new code to ensure that it has been set properly. To delete the user code, enter the manager code and hold on the last digit. The keypad will beep twice then press number 3. The user code is now deleted. To add a user, enter the manager code and hold on the last digit until the keypad beeps twice. Enter the number 1, then enter your new code. Repeat the new code, and now it's set. Go ahead and try that code to make sure it's working. To disable a user code, enter the manager code and hold on the last digit until the keypad beeps twice. Then hit the number 2. The user code is now disabled. To enable the user code, enter the manager code and hold on the last digit until the keypad beeps twice. Then press number 1. The user code has now been enabled. If four consecutive invalid codes are entered, the lock will enter a penalty time period. The unit will beep at five second intervals, indicating that it is still in the penalty time period, which lasts five minutes.